Solo road trips. It just feels like we never take enough of them, right? Well, last month I was inspired, so I took one from LA to Arizona. All right, let's get on the road. This is how that experience went. Let's pull off to the side of the road because look where we're at, we made it to Joshua Tree. I'm so excited you can see some of the Joshua Trees right behind us. It is day one, or evening one, I guess, here on the road trip uh, to Arizona. and. What better way to start it out than Joshua Tree? I've never been here before and so excited. I'm headed to my Airbnb right now. I'm about three or four miles out and then really gonna get into the desert tomorrow for day one of the uh, road trip. So really excited to be here at Joshua Tree. Okay guys, just arrived at my Airbnb and look at the sunset. Unbelievable. So right here is my Airbnb for the night at Joshua Tree. I am staying here tonight and tomorrow night, so basically a total of two nights before heading to Arizona. And so uh, let's check this place out. All right guys, inside my Airbnb now, I just had some dinner out on the town, ate some ice cream in here, and now I'm about to go to bed, but I wanted to give you a tour of my place uh, that I'll be staying at for the next two nights here in Joshua Tree in the desert. And it's such a cool little place. It's basically my own studio. Good morning, Joshua Tree, California. Thank you so much, I appreciate it. Made it into Joshua Tree National Park, paid the $30 fee, and I'm like two miles into my drive. We're headed to Skull Rock which is about 17 miles down. I came in from the west entrance and guys, I just had to stop because like, look at this place. It is incredible, it's so beautiful. It's just like a desert oasis. And man, I, I just, it's so real in person, it's awesome. of the day just pulled off the road and going to Skull Rock. So you'll take Skull Rock Trail and there's essentially like a rock formation that looks like a skull. Let's go. So this hike is 1.7 miles total. So about 0 0.8, 0 0.9 there and 0 0.8, 0 0.9 back. Um, not a loop, I don't think, just Overall 1.7 mile hike. No bullhorn sheep yet either, but uh, I have seen some what they call wood rats. And they take this string right here on these cactus plants things and whatever they are, and, uh, and they make a nest out of them. Um, so pretty cool stuff there. All right, first snake encounter of the day, but it's dead, no worries. There's flies all over, somebody killed it. Ugh. Mm. The only thing that scares me about being in the desert, and like, especially when there's like, literally almost nobody here but for the most part snakes don't bother you Just if you don't bother them they don't bother you all right guys made it this is so cool it really does look like a skull
came back the way I came in. So walked the trail back and now I'm headed up to the amphitheater here, um, I guess near Skull Rock. What's your name? Chad Stoltenbeck. From Morgantown, West Morgantown, Virginia. Morgantown, West Virginia. How about that? That's so cool. <laughs> All right, so we got Chad, and then we've got April with- This is April, and this is Haley. And you, so you guys went, you guys came down all the way from Morgantown, right? Yeah, yeah we came to Morgantown, uh, went to visit my folks in Florida, and then came sort of up again through the Panhandle, Louisiana, uh, Texas. Alabama, Texas, stayed in Texas New Mexico, for a couple of days. Arizona, Vegas. Yeah. So we uh, okay, they basically did a COVID-19 road trip. Yes, that's <laughs> what we're doing. You guys made it outside of Joshua Tree National Park, came out. Uh, it's about 20 miles deep in there, so it's pretty deep in there. Kind of a long drive out, but it's around 1 p.m., so time for a break, and I'm going to the Natural Sisters Cafe here in the valley, and I'm gonna get some smoothies, so let's go. All right, I got the monkey business smoothie. That smoothie was really good. Um, it was like banana, almond butter, almond milk. I don't know, a bunch of stuff. It was really, really good though. I enjoyed it. All right, going back to Joshua Tree for the evening. It's around 4.45 right now. I've been on the road for about 20 minutes after like a two hour break at my Airbnb. Had to rest up a little bit, wash my face off and uh, edit a little bit of a video. And now I'm back on the road and we are headed to Arch Rock tonight. And as well as I'd like to knock out the Chala Cactus Garden. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. So those are the two destinations for this evening. First though, we are going to Arch Rock, um, which is a rock that looks like an arch. And so we are on the road right now. This is called Utah Trail and it leads you back into the national park there are several entrances but of course you can come and go as much as you want uh, as long as you have your little receipt ticket um, it's good for i think six or seven days once you pay so we'll just put that up there when we get to the entrance thirty dollars is already paid and we're good to go so arch rock here we come made it to Arch Rock. Next stop on the evening is here at the Choya Cactus Garden. It's about a one fourth of a mile of a loop around. Dinner, and I'm stopping here at Rocky's New York Pizzeria. Uh, it looks pretty authentic to me. I don't even think I'm getting pizza. I think I'm gonna get the chicken parm. All right, guys, that does it for my time in Joshua Tree, California. Good morning to you. This is day three of the road trip, and we are headed to Flagstaff, Arizona. Guys, look where I'm at. I made it to Arizona. Arizona, baby, we made it. All right, just 
just arrived at the Grand Canyon National Airport. Um, kind of an impulse thing, did not plan to do this, but I was driving into the park and I was like, I wonder if I could get a helicopter, you know, make this a little bit uh, spicier of a video. And so, yeah, I'm about to go see the Grand Canyon unlike ever before in a helicopter. Let's do it. I arrived in Flagstaff and you gotta check out my Airbnb, it's pretty special tonight. Um, I'm staying in an Airstream. Guys, look what I found on this farm. All right guys, check it out. You're seeing some red rocks right now. Uh, that's a sign that we're getting closer and closer to Sedona. I'm coming down through the Coco Nino forest and wow look at those things just drove down the coco nino forest i'm still in the coco nino forest and guys we have arrived in sedona arizona beautiful views 360 degrees does not matter where you turn the red rocks are incredible in person <laughs> All 
right, first adventure of the day is Devil's Bridge. I parked along the road back there. I'm headed up a street right now, I forget what it's called, but we are headed to Devil's Bridge here in Sedona, Arizona. 3.6 miles round trip. Let's go. mention that this is basically a decline down to Devil's Bridge so that means the hike up will be much more strenuous and it's already getting pretty hot it's probably probably 80 to 85 degrees right now so uh, the hike back up will not be as easy as it is going down Sedona. It's about 40 minutes south of where I was over at Devil's Bridge and I'm basically on a no man's land type of road. Alright, next adventure of the day guys. I traveled about 40 minutes south of where I was. I was essentially in downtown Sedona beautiful area so much to do there are people driving their polarises everywhere and uh, four-wheelers and all kinds of stuff but now i am like i said about 40 minutes south and i'm on the historic bell trail and i'm going to something called the crack i can't make this up it's called the crack and it's a little hidden swimming hole in the middle of sedona but you've got to want to get there because we're looking at about a seven mile hike I wasn't going to sign back on until I got there, but I'm not going to lie, I just saw a topless woman just walk right by me with her dude, and her dude just looked at me and said, have a good one down there, bro, and I was like, you have a good night. I've never witnessed a girl topless on a hike like that, but that just happened. So back to your regular schedule program. Good morning from Sedona, Arizona. I know I kind of abruptly stopped the vlog after yesterday, but it was insane. I did like 40 or 50,000 steps um, because I went to Devil's Bridge, as you saw, and then cliff jumping all day and got really good sleep last night here at the Airbnb, but I'm still so tired. Today the plan is to go to Prescott, Arizona, and hopefully, get a kayak and go out on Watson Lake. Arrived at Watson Lake and I'm headed down here now to hopefully rent a kayak to go out on the lake and I'm really excited because I just need a chill day because I am exhausted from yesterday. So let's rent a kayak and let's go have some fun on the water. So I'm here with Jake. Hey. I'm here with Mariah. Hi. And they are with Born to be Wild. And they're hooking me up with a kayak today. I'm really excited here at Watson Lake. Thank you guys so much.
wow, what a day it was out on the water, guys. I just got back in. I did like maybe three hours of kayaking today. So shout out to the uh, Born to be Wild peeps. Uh, Mariah, thank you so much for hooking me up today. It's pretty disappointing because at first I didn't think I was going to get a kayak. Um, but then I found those guys. And uh, yeah, so much fun and a great way to wrap up my trip. Guys, I just arrived at my Airbnb in Prescott and you gotta check this place out, it's so cool.